عكس ما تروج له بعض القنوات دخل الجيش السوري الى هذه المنطقه و... The Syrian army didn't wait long after advancing in the rural areas of West Al Ghosair and recapturing several towns and villages to the south of the Orontes River. Its units launched a comprehensive military operation in order to liberate a number of the towns to the east of the Orontes River and complete the siege of Al Ghosair. The military's decision was clear to surround the eastern towns of Al Boida and Al Thaba and prevent the armed groups from pressuring the Syrian army due to Al Ghosair's strategic geographical location. The army also intended to tighten the grip on the city itself and secure the international road from homes to the Syrian coast and other areas. When the operation started, the Syrian army moved towards the town of al Qmam. Snipers stationed outside the town and its roads considerably slowed down the army's progress. Eventually, after the unit divided into two, it managed to surprise the armed groups with its maneuvering capabilities. The clashes lasted for hours before the Syrian units managed to enter al -Qman. As soon as the army entered the town, the engineering unit started dismantling various bombs planted between the houses by the armed groups in order to impede the army's advancement. The army continued to strengthen its position inside the town prior to its attack on al Salomia, town situated near Alkma. The army's surprise tactic and highly trained guerrilla fighters were decisive elements in the battle. By lifting the siege on the town of al Ghassania, the goal of the operation was accomplished. For more than a year before the siege was broken, al Ghassania residents had not been able to cross Katinat Lake. The army's second target was al Shomaria town, which was considered the last joint in surrounding al Ghassania on Katina Lake, from where the armed groups traveled by boats to deliver arms and logistic support to their comrades in other villages. To prevent the arrival of any supplies to the armed groups stationed in al Shomaria town, one unit of the Syrian army advanced towards al Shomaria while the army engaged with the armed groups in al Thaba, Eastern al Buayda, al Rujun, and al Hamidiya. At the same time, an engineering unit was busy dismantling bombs planted outside the town and around civilian houses while simultaneously a highly trained guerrilla group entered the town to start combing the entire area. With the entry of the Syrian army, the siege of al Ghassania came to an end. Now the armed groups in the towns of al Haydaria, Aish al-Warwar, Western al Maina, Eastern al Buayda, and al Thaba had no choice but to surrender to the quick advancement of the Syrian army. The army soon began combing al Haydaria, Aish al Warwar, and western al Maina in severe clashes at the entrance of eastern al Buayda and al Thaba towns broke out. 
to control the three towns of western Altmena, Al Haidaria, and Ashal Warwar is considered as a strategic move by the Syrian army because it cuts off the road between Homs and Al Qusayr and prevents any logistic supplies from reaching the armed groups. Inside Al Qusayr, which has been cut off from its geographical surroundings, surveillance units work continuously. The battle started by the army's gradual advancement towards Al Qusayr's rural areas and by applying the nibble and isolation strategy village after village and town after town until Al Qusayr city was separated from its rural areas. At the dawn of Sunday, 19th of May, 2013, Syria witnessed an entirely different battle. al Qusayr battle, which could be considered as the most strategic battle, raged 15 kilometers northeast of the Lebanese borders and 35 kilometers to the south of Homs. The major assault against al Qusayr city was launched after the Syrian army managed to infiltrate wireless system networks of the armed groups, which enabled the army to pinpoint their locations. The area was divided into two, while the army in fact divided the battle area into six sections in order to separate the armed groups from each other and weaken their morale. The first strike at the break of dawn took the armed groups by surprise. The element of shock allowed the Syrian army to advance from three directions, from the east, south and northeast to target the armed group's headquarters. Simultaneously, some units replaced the troops that had entered from the southern direction, from the east Syrian troops moved through Zamrun plains towards Al Qusayr city. Once again, they took advantage of the surprise element, which enabled them to recapture the school complex and the eastern quarter in record time. هذه منطقة تجمع المدارس التي كانت تتواجد فيها المجموعات المسلحة والتي كانت تتمركز هنا الآن أصبحت كليا تحت سيطرة الجيش السوري كما نتابع والعملية الآن تستكمل بهذا الاتجاه. The streets and the main square in the city portray very well the battle that had raged a couple of hours ago. كما نتابع الآن نحن داخل مدينة القصير هذا مسجد الإمام علي وهذا الشارع تتواجد فيه المجموعات المسلحة وهذا الساتر كما تتابعون نحن الآن في قلب مدينة القصير التي كانت تتحصن فيها المجموعات المسلحة في هذه المنطقة وقام الجيش السوري بتنظيف كل هذا الدوار وهو معروف بداخل مدينة القصير We proceed towards the front line where clashes are still going on and sniper operations are the most noticeable features. This is the area where the school complex is located. Armed groups have been removed from this area and other strategic locations in the city. The army's advancement from the south was very smooth. Only specific locations were targeted due to their accurate intelligence information. The current state of the streets and alleys here reflect the extent of the clashes. 
armed groups fortified inside these houses after they planted dozens of bombs in a bid to impede the army's advancement. From where I'm sending this report, shelling and sniper and artillery attacks are still dominating the atmosphere in the city. The use of artillery contributed greatly to minimizing casualties among Syrian soldiers. On the other hand, heavy deployment of snipers in many areas of Al Qusair prompted the Syrian army to implement a totally different tactic in which special units encircled the armed groups after the advancement of other units in order to create distraction from the intended operation. The army clashed with the armed groups from close range and from one street to another. When the armed groups realized that they had lost the initiative and were being chased by the Syrian army, they resorted to using bombs as the sole weapon at their disposal in order to slow down the advancement of the army. Those bombs were planted so as to create a domino effect where the explosion of one bomb would lead to the explosion of the rest. <laughs> 